Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful bracelet. It's really easy to make, it's absolutely like a beginner's tutorial and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure you will be able to make it by yourself. By the way, you could use only pearls on only these rondelles and I have a tutorial for the rondelles and I will link it here at the eye icon, similar work with rondelles and you could turn this into a necklace and you could also see this here. Okay, and now if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like, share and comment, I do not know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations and down there in description you will see a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And don't forget that earring tutorial is coming, so subscribe and hit the bell, please. Okay, and now I will start with the list of the materials I'm using here. Okay, guys, so what I need for this video are two colors of 11 0 seed beads. Here I use 8 millimeter pearls, and these are rondelles. They are 8 by 6 millimeters. They're also called faceted crystals. And uh, this is a clasp, a regular clasp. I'm using here lobster's claw. And here is a monofilament that is 0.06 inches, so 0.15 millimeters. And here I use size 10 beading needle, scissors and pliers. Okay, I use the pliers to attach my clasp. And now I'm going to take a long thread on my needle. Take at least an arm span or even more. Uh, because in this work it's um, not a good idea to add a thread. It's not impossible, but it's difficult. So now I'm going to take my thread on my needle and I'll be back to start. Okay, and I forgot to tell you that here I use 9 rondelles and 10 pearls. And uh, it depends how long your work is. Okay, so now the first thing I'm doing is that I take this pearl here. And what I do first is that I go through this pearl and slide it down. Okay, and now I'm going to take eight of these beautiful 11 or seed beads. Okay, now I have eight beads here. If you use 10 or seed beads, yes, you could use 10 or if you want, you could add seven beads, for example. I think it will work with eight too, but seven will be better if you're using tenos. Okay, so you could change the eleven os for tenos, and it will still work. And now what I'm doing, I'm taking eight beads, but in black color. Okay, and I'm going back here through this pearl. Okay, now this is what I have. And in my next step, I want to make a knot. And in order to make a knot, I'm holding here my tail thread because otherwise my work will fall apart. And I'm still holding it while going through this bead. And it is that difficult only with the first bit that I'm adding, then it's easier later when you continue with your work. In fact, only the first step is difficult, okay? So now here, guys, is the place where I like to make a knot, okay? Now I'm taking the two ends of my thread, making a loop, and I'm going with my tail thread twice through this loop I've made and I pull and after that I make one more knot just to be sure that everything is nice tight and secure and you could repeat several more knots of course okay 
Okay, now I have this and my when I pull my thread heights inside my work. Okay, and now I'm going to take eight of these beautiful golden beads. Okay, I have eight and after the black one it comes golden. Okay, and this is my tail thread. I will go with it at this side of my work. Okay. And I pull. Okay, now now I have three rows. I will have eight in total. Four black and four golden rows. Okay, now I have eight black beads, you see, and I'm alternating golden, black, golden, black. This is what I do. Okay. Okay, eight. And you know you could do a necklace with this work, just when you continue beading it will become a necklace or add a chain at the two ends of your work. Eight again. And I will continue this until I'm ready with my eight rows. Okay guys, and when you look your work at this direction, you see there are four goldens and four black rows. Okay, now I have this. And what I'm going to do next is take one golden bead, slide it down here at the hole. Okay. Then go back through the pearl. And now I have this. Okay. My bead is here. And what I want to do next is go back through all of those black beads because I want to reinforce the attachment of this golden bead to my work. Okay. So I'm going through some beads in this direction. Then I'm going one more time through this central bit that I just added. And I'm going back through my pearl like this. Now I have this attached here and later I will attach my clasp to it. Okay, so now I'm exiting here. And I have this thread, that's my tail thread. Okay, and I'll cut it and you could use zippers if you want to be sure that everything is secure. Okay, and now I have this ball ready and I will continue with my bracelet and it will get really easier here. Okay, I'm taking a NATO, a rondelle and a NATO. Okay. And you could use different size of rondelle or pearls and when you use them you just need to reduce uh, the number of seed beads that you're adding to them, surrounding them. Okay, now what I need is another pearl here. And what I'm doing next is that I'm taking eight black beads. Okay, I have eight beads here and I'm going back through this pearl like I did before. But now it's easier because I'm not making any knots and not holding any threads. The difficult part is behind our backs. Okay, and 
here I have eight again and I'm going back through this pearl okay now guys off camera I will add more of these rows and I will alternate them until I have eight golden and eight black rows and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and when I continue with this work this is what I have I have all of my pearls and rondelles attached here to my work and I'm here at the last pearl I just put seed beads around it and I will show you how to finish it by the way in the beginning I told you you need 18 of these um, of these 8 beads but in fact you need 20 because I forgot to tell you about this last beads that you attach to your work at the beginning and at the end okay and I'm attaching this bead the same way I showed you before here in the center and what I do is that I go one more time back through this row and one more time back here through this bead and again and you could do this three times if you want if you want your bead to be really nice attached okay and now guys i will go somewhere here and i will make a knot and cut my thread okay let's say i will do my knot between my rondelle and this bead here the final knot of my work I mean okay and I'm doing it by making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then you could repeat this knot also here let's say you could repeat it several times pull and at some point when you decide the knots are enough you could cut your thread and your work will be almost ready okay guys and now i'm going to show you how to attach your ear wire and in order to do this I'm taking my jump ring okay I'm opening this jump ring up okay I'm opening this up it's a good idea to use two pliers for this opening up but now I'm doing it this way sometimes it's possible if your uh, jump ring is not that hard okay and now I'm going here inside this bit that I attached last okay then I will take my clasp here okay and I squeeze and now my clasp is attached here guys and i will do this thing from the other side but i will attach um, only a jump ring at the other side and i'll be back to show you the ready work okay guys so now my bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry for earrings and you will be able to make a beautiful set so this is why it's a good idea to subscribe and uh, down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me